What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and welcome to my monthly Patreon thank you and update video. In this one, I'm going to roll a few of my PvP battles from today in the background, and I'm going to be answering some questions. So that's right, like I said on Facebook, I will have a Q&A in this video, and all of these questions come from my Facebook page. There were a lot, so I'm going to try to get through as many as I can, but I'm going to have to get started right now. Oh, and by the way, I am going to edit out the last names because it was on Facebook, so we'll just go first names only. Nathan wants to know, what hero would you like to see in the near future? Any personal favorites? Why yes, Namor is my favorite character by far that's not in the game. So I really hope we get him next. Next, Steven asks, which heroes have I been most and least excited for in terms of expectations? Hmm, well that's a really tough question. To be honest, I get excited for just about any new character that gets released. So I guess as far as least favorite, I think maybe that was Medusa. And then as far as most excited for, I'll go ahead and say Hybrid. He just had so much to offer as far as different classes, E-ISO, A-ISO, you name it. That guy has it all. Next, Sean wants to know, any idea what the third anniversary gift might be next month, and what alternative suit are you most looking for to tie in with Age of Ultron, other than the Iron Man Hulkbuster suit? The third anniversary gift will probably be a generalist armor, maybe with two E-ISO slots, and as far as a new costume, well, I'm definitely looking forward to a new costume for Quicksilver or Scarlet Witch. I guess more so for Scarlet Witch because Quicksilver probably won't get any better than his blue costume. Next up, Scott says, I want to know about the Kingfisher, job and family, and where you live. Not in a creepy way at all. Well, Scott, I have just a normal family. I'm not married, and I don't have any kids. As far as my job, well, I used to wash dishes. And right now I'm working on finishing up an education degree, plus a teacher's license so I can hopefully teach high school someday. Soon. Also, I am from Pennsylvania. So I know that's something I said before, but most people probably didn't see that video. It's not something I bring up all the time. One of these days I'll probably get more into my background, like what it was like growing up, you know, what my interests were and are now. Maybe I'll get on that draw my life fad, even though it's way late. But next we have Christian who says, I want to know what your voice sounds like without your mic thing. Also, what is one underpowered character you would like to see buffed, and what buffs would you add? To answer the first part, this is it. I'm just using a blue snowball mic, and nothing else. So now that I have the newer mic, it's pretty accurate. And then who's underpowered? Well, I would say Spider-Woman needs a buff badly and I would make her one of the worthy, which I think is going to happen. Colossus is another character I'd like to see updated, even though he is quite a tank. Now, Chris had more of a comment, I think. He said, I'd like to see one about the most devastating weapons and AE ISOs that are farmable, not just bought with command points or gold. I really try to do this from time to time. And as far as the A and E ISO, most character-specific ones are farmable. And there are many great ones out there. Then as far as weapons, you can check out some of my series where I only use free weapons. And then also you're going to see them from time to time throughout my videos. Like I said, I will put in an effort to use them more often. Plus I'm going to make videos dedicated to the top free weapons. Most likely a top 5 in Season 1 and a top 5 in Season 2. And eventually I'll do the same for A and E ISO. Next, Hector asks, what do you think about this group boss, the bugs, etc.? I love the group boss. Anytime there's a group boss, I love it because of the silver, and also because it means a lockbox character. So as far as bugs, you're going to have them all the time. It's just one of those things that's going to happen. I haven't really experienced them with this guy, and he's extremely easy, so I don't have any complaints. Next, Raphael wants to know, boxers or briefs? Um, boxer briefs. Moving on. Philippe or Felipe wants to know, Why do you send your GB for two of my friends and you leave me hanging? Well, truthfully, I just hit select all and send. So I'm not choosing them over you. For a while there, I didn't even have any other option. So I have no idea why they select who they do, but I'm not leaving you out. 
Mang wants to know, what do you think about this SO weapon set? If any weapon of the set you were to leave in the inventory, which would it be? I don't really have an opinion on it because I haven't got to use much of the set. Now I did just get the frozen axe, and I am planning on making a video for each piece I get as I get it. So that's really all I can say about that. Look for the axe video very soon. I'm going to work on building more of the pieces, and I'll try to show them as I get them finished. Oscar asks, what MCU movie is your favorite? Well, for a very long time it would have been Spider-Man 2, from the original trilogy. Then Avengers for a short time, and now I believe Guardians of the Galaxy would be my favorite. Next, Neil inquires, what new system feature you think would make a great impact on the game? Would having Dupe or Uwatu as familiars assist be cool? That would be incredibly cool. I've been playing Marvel Heroes again, and every time I see Dupe show up it's amazing. Also, who wouldn't want to have the Watcher in the game? At least in some capacity. So those are great ideas and I also wish we could test out our own defense. That's something I'd like to see added to the game. And probably the last one for now. Lorenzo said would love to see the new Rogue in a pair up for PvP. Well, you're in luck because the very next video, which is going to be posted later, is going to feature Modern Rogue. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Thank you everyone for your questions and I'll try to do one of these again very soon. I know I still have a few more questions that I didn't get to this time around, but I won't forget them for next time. Now it's time to send out my special thank yous first to the graphics team. Thank you Jameson at AJ Designs for your incredible graphics and all your help with my videos. Next up Hayden, thank you for your graphics and your awesome intros. Thank you to Matthew at Matt Sketches for your graphics as well. I greatly appreciate it. And I also want to give a shout out to the guys at From the Helicarrier Podcast. You're amazing to work with and I appreciate all your support. Also, thank you to Sniper for my intro and you can find his channel in the description below. Lastly, thank you to my friend Agent Danny for all your help. All of you are greatly appreciated. And now, for the Agents of the Hour. A very special thank you to the following patrons. Thank you to Agent Seraph1. Ackum Dead, Runner Beast, Kurt, Josh, and Nuke. Thank you, Agents Freedom, Joshua G, Sputang, Larry, Dan, and Cuts. Next, thanks to Agent Paul, Agente De Leo, Michael F, Christoph, Monty, and Snorri. Thank you, Agent Mystery, Billy, Nadem, Michael R, Maxwell, and Sperton FTH. These agents are followed by Philip. Solomon, Lorenzo, Glenn, AJ Wilkinson, and Mauricio aka Slayers V. And last but certainly not least, thank you the Agent Dorsey, Matt, Sharif, and Adelaine. I sincerely thank all of you for your support. You've greatly helped myself and the channel, probably more than you even know. And I also want to thank everyone who takes the time to watch my videos, click that like button, and for everyone who has subscribed, I owe you all my gratitude. That's really all I can ask for, but for anyone who wants to become a patron, you can visit the following link, www.patreon.com slash thekingfisher745. Your monthly donation helps me to continue creating more and higher quality videos. Lastly, thank you all for watching and for everything you do for me and the channel. Simply watching the videos really helps, and as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making them. Also, if you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.